All right, so we have Jackson Hinkle on. Oh, by the way, his uh, Twitter account recently surpassed two, two point two million followers. Is Elon going to do something about this, or is it time for they the, tried the EU to step in? They try. I think the EU is going to have to step in and do something about Jackson Hinkle. So, Jackson, you went on this show. What's this show called? Uh, James Whale Unleashed. That's what it's called. I thought it was called the Tortoise and the Hare. It's spelled H A I R. Show it. Show this the, the tortoise in the hair. <laughs> uh, so your friend Sam sends me this clip. I didn't know about this clip until Sam sent it to me. Uh, what is his? Is he? Is his? I think he's at Factual Counterpoints. I think that's his uh, Instagram. I don't go yeah. on. I don't go on any social media except Twitter. All the other social medias depress me. So uh, here is Jackson, and I'm going to play this. I'm going to try and play it all the way. Should I play it all the way through without stopping? Yeah, there's no. Well, d hey, let's take the challenge. Okay, let's see how let's see how long I can you go. This stuff, right? Yeah, let's see how long I can go without. Uh, so you went on what with this? What's this show called? James Whale Unleashed. <laughs> I mean, it, that's more of a BDS name than Tortoise in the Hair. It is. That is like the one with the hair is going back in his gimp suit into the trunk when this is done. Yeah. I can tell that from this. By the way, they're very leashed to the establishment narrative. They, they're they the unleashed is very mis it's a misnomer. So this is this is quite an interview. Boy, I think his uh, that's up a little too high. You got to put that his kerchief in his pocket. That's not supposed to be up that high. But anyway, here we go. View on what's going on in Gaza at the moment, because obviously you're in America. So he asked you, what's your view of what's going on in Gaza at the moment? And then obviously I think he said something. He knows your position is, which is why he brought you on. But he pretends, oh, yeah. and then he pretends like, well, of course you're American, so you're going to be for Israel. Why do, why do you think he said something stupid like anyway? You see him trying to hold that werewolf back from attacking? <laughs> <laughs> that, that corrupt PI? <laughs> here, here we go. Uh view on what's going on in Gaza at the moment, because obviously you're an American, I presume you're fairly pro the Israeli side. Definitely not. I think we should be giving zero dollars to Israel, zero dollars to any foreign government for that matter. What's happening in Gaza is an abomination. You have 15, 16,000 civilians that have been slaughtered by the Israelis, 6,000 children that have been killed. How do you, according to Hamas, how, how, hang on, to Jackson, end. how do you know this many? I'm always interested on both sides when they uh, they say, oh, so many, somebody said there have been uh, a lot of journalists murdered over there. And when I asked them, um, perhaps, you, perhaps you know the names of the people who've been murdered or some of them. Yeah, I mean, you just had a Palestinian man who lives in London on your show last week who had 23 plus members of his own family killed. So I think the facts are out there. We have countless. No, no, no. We're, we're only talking about hearsay here. We need yeah. to talk about facts. These figures are from Hamas, who were the people that gang raped women and children. So you can't really take it. You've got to take it with a pinch of salt, what yeah. they tell you. They, well, they if, want the media believe, to think. If you believe that Hamas gang raped women and children, I also would imagine you believe there's no Nazis in Ukraine and that the COVID <clears throat> jab was safe and effective. But. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bam! That's his first slug. <laughs> Why is he asking you to name, like, name I can't names. name a single Jeffrey Dahmer victim, and yet I know Jeffrey ate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's trying. So that's his, like, gotcha. Can you name uh -huh. one of their names? And he, anyway, how did you know that? By, did you watch his show the week before? I watched, like, three minutes of it, and, and the funny thing was that the, the, the hair... The hair that hasn't taken a shower in five weeks. He said that he was a he's a pro Hamas guy. He was actually an anti Hamas Palestinian. So they they don't even remember their own guess. Oh God. Okay. Uh, here we go. Why At do the you, end of the uh, day, uh, we have Jackson. Oh, we have, Jackson. Jackson. You, gotta, you gotta let me finish. No, no, no I haven't finish. got it. I'm, it's my show. You got no, countless no, videos showing you dead children. You, you've got countless loads, videos loads showing loads dead children. Videos showing some of them showing really made up stuff, and you know that as well as I do. But let me ask you this. Why is everybody getting upset about what's happening in Gaza? And I'm upset. I think innocent. It's not a genocide, is it? The population's killed. gone up three. Why is years. nobody talking the. I like. So So the hair says it's not genocide. Their population has gone up threefold. It's is not it? genocide, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> their, their, their population has gone up threefold in the last few years. Boy, what a great genocide defense that is, isn't it? <laughs> if you suck at genocide, then I guess it's not really genocide. Hey, let's let's not call it genocide. Let's just say the Palestinians are treated worse than the Chinese Uyghurs, and you called that genocide. It's Uyghurs too, by the way. Oh wait, I call him Cenk Uyghurs. Ch oh, I call him Cenk Uyghur. Oh, I go to the other <laughs> way. <laughs> okay, here we go.
Dame, about what's happened in Ukraine, the amount of innocent people in the Ukraine who've been murdered, and in Russia, for that matter. That's what happens, sadly, in wars. Why has nobody got upset about that? Why is it only about Gaza? Well, in two months, there's been probably 20 to 30 times the amount of civilians killed in Gaza than were killed in Ukraine in two years of warfare. So I think that's not the true, level is it? of... That's not true, is it? Like, your genocide okay. point isn't true. Like, probably everything you say is just like... I bet you say uh, Israel of carpet bombed Gaza, don't you, as well? What? And I bet you say it's just... You know, every every strike has, has gone through a lawyer. So it's all legally. It's all been checked with lawyers. Every, there's no war crimes being committed from the... So this guy's... This is, there, this is so cartoonish. So what this guy is trying to say that because when Israel does a, a bombing of, Ga of Gaza, which are just neighborhoods full of regular people. They ask a lawyer. They ask a lawyer in Israel, is it okay? The lawyer says, yeah. And so that makes it okay. So <laughs> Just like when George Bush and Dick Cheney wanted to torture someone, they went and handpicked some asswipe lawyer named you, I think, or Wu, his name was. And then he would go, yeah, it's okay. And then they go, see, we asked the lawyer. And he said it was okay, so it's not a crime. So that's what this guy's trying. Is it, Are war crime? Who determines war crimes? I thought it's an international court. Yeah, it wouldn't an, be exactly. your own local court. It wouldn't be your. Yeah, it's not like the guy that is that helping you do the war crime that you ask, <laughs> right? It's like Joseph John, Coney probably found himself not guilty back when that was a big yeah, thing. Yeah, John. Oh, John, you go, to, you go to any court case in human history, O.J. Simpson, any any court case, you're going to have two teams of lawyers that say both of their clients are correct and honest and not guilty. So it's like. I don't, I don't, I, the level of stupidity with these two, I was not prepared for. I wasn't prepared for this either. Well, we'll keep going. Yeah, and that will be settled after. Is it's, it? There's no, there's no war crimes being committed by the IDF. That's right. Yeah. So you agree. So you think that bombing innocent children is not a war crime? It's, well, you need to go and look yeah, into international law because, Ash, you know, you can, a military target can have, they use innocent civilians Ash, as shields. Can I just get some facts? Well, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Toward is saying, hair, slow down. Yeah. Slow down, hair. Slow and steady here. Jackson causes a lot of couples to fight like this. <laughs> this is really, really it really does. Here we go. Well, on your show last week, on your show last week, you both said that you agree with some international law, but not all international law when that. you're talking to a Palestinian. So when that. it comes to what's happening in Gaza, you have thousands of innocent individuals that are being slaughtered that have nothing to do with Hamas. Yeah. These people are living in their homes, they're in hospitals, they're in churches, and they're being bombed. Hamas underneath them and missiles stored with them and tunnels underneath them. There's no evidence of that. Of course, there's loads of evidence. You, you, there's, I mean, there's no one believes what you're saying. All the crap you're saying. Please, or I'll have to remove you. There is no <laughs> evidence. Oh! Now, that's interesting because I was sure Hare, I guess in the bedroom, he's the top. That's what I assume. That's what I assume. He rides Tortoise. But here, Tortoise is taking the lead. This per, that, <laughs> that could, this British couple should think about getting a divorce. <laughs> so what I think is happening is that uh, he's intrigued with Jackson's hair because he's obviously into hair. Yeah, there's a yeah, and the and the and the, the bald one's getting really intrigued with Jackson. Yeah, and his companion is getting a bit jealous. He is, and you can see, uh, yeah. So look, this kind of stuff just happens with Jackson. He's he's talking to you like you're like another hot chick at a club coming around to his man. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, that's not true, is it? That's right, not true, bitch. Is it? right, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> His hair doesn't stay. He's the hair guy in the relationship, and you're going to take over that role. You're going to take over that role, and he knows it, and this guy doesn't want And so, But Jackson breaks up couples all the time, but yeah. uh, for couples who are into it, you can reach Jackson <laughs> at his other email, domhair at putinlover.sexy. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's well worth it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well worth the Bitcoin to experience. Is every it. Piers Morgan S media slob going to have Jackson on <laughs> just so he can rustle their jimmies? <laughs> 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 okay, here we go. On either side, what is going on is a propaganda war. Well, there is now you've dedicated just a minute. You've dedicated <laughs> uh, apparently you've got a journalist award, um, and you've dedicated it to, uh, to to seventy dead Palestinian journalists. Can you name two or three of them? Yeah, I actually posted a photo of all their names on my Twitter account yesterday. And just since the Israeli bombing campaign began again after the end Can of the season. Can you name me one or two of them? Days, Boy, this is a he really wants you to be able to recall names off the top of your head yeah. for the as if that's not happening. He did it with the it's, it's just, what mur first of all, what murders are you familiar with where we remember the names of the victims and not the killers? That, I've never seen that in all of my life. Yeah, that's right. I, I, he's so stupid. I was just thinking about making up some <laughs> fake Arab name because he wouldn't have known the difference. That, oh, you could have. You could tell him Star Wars names. He wouldn't know no different. You, you could have said Cat Stevens. 
<laughs> Let's okay. see. There was Django Fett, and uh... <laughs> there was Yusef Fahudi. You could have just said that. He, he would have said, "Who Yusef Fahudi?" Hindsight. No, can you name me one or two more Palestinian journalists that were killed? Can you name me one or two of them? Wait, can you name any of these? I can name you a couple. What about the journalists that actually went on the attack? That actually went on the Hamas attack and filmed it. What about those ones? Now, what about those ones? Answer that one. Let him ask the question, or I'll have to remove you. I know you get. Oh my goodness! This is so awesome. <laughs> oh my god! The ball was going to dress up like the guy from Judas Priest. Watch. Uh, well, I guess you won't see it. Someone's going to get a spanking later. You yeah. know that. What's the question? This? Right. Oh, okay. Can you name any of these ladies who killed on October seventh? Yeah, they went out on their journalist, dude. Who and then who worked for CNN? Did and you hear my question? No, no, I didn't. Well, well will you shut up? For <laughs> <the question? laughs> oh. Did you hear my question? No, I didn't. I, was, I kept talking. I just keep talking. It's amazing how they won't let you talk for more than five seconds. Not even five seconds. As soon as you say, hey, they pay Jackson good for money for this experience, and I say, let him enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> can, you name any of these, can you name any of the Israeli civilians killed on October 7th? No, but I'm not claiming to be able to. Well, so why are you claiming? So then why are you holding Jackson to a higher standard than you're holding yourself to? What is you can't saying? name any of the Israelis that were killed on October 7th, and he's not able to, off the top of his head, name one of the journalists who, who were killed off the top of his head. So why? Well, how does that now discredit Jackson, but it somehow doesn't discredit... He's about to say, the, you're claiming something. I think he's about to say... Oh, okay, watch. Okay, here we go. Mad at me when I can post you're the photos claiming of the to be able to do. Why don't you I'm just, sure journalists have been killed anyway in a war. You're claiming journalists do to be able killed. to do that. Of course they would be killed. What do you think? Okay. Well, of course it. they would be killed. They're journalists covering a war. Of course they're going to be. What, what's up? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, they bring up Putin. This is what's so cra What actually blows my mind is I would think that the Putin thing would, would kind of shame you where you're like, all these civilians dead. Like, And they go, oh, of course people are dead. War is hell. You didn't say about Putin. Yeah, you said that was some kind yeah. of crazy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What? With this war, the problem with this war is that there's indiscriminate targeting of no, it's women, not true. Everything goes through a lawyer. Everything yeah. goes. Every missile strike goes through legal to see if they can do it. There's too many civilians, and, and you know, one missile, they won't do it. What would America do? Let's just what? Can, can you can you like that that I can't write comment. No, look, if they, if there's too many uh, civilians, they're not going to bomb them. Have you? Well, the lawyer has to sign off. The lawyer has to sign off. What court is that? <laughs> That's, not the know. not the one where we try war criminals, right? Because they don't belong to that, and we don't belong to that. Right. They Russia don't. and Ukraine don't belong to that. That's right. Who who decides that? Ask I'm, this question: What would America do if uh, if, if an enemy walked into an American town or a village and murdered every man, woman, and child in that village? What would what would America's response be? <laughs> okay, I, I, that's Jeez. easy. That's easy. I know the answer to this. What America would do was they would lay, lay siege to those uh, those people's entire family and anyone who lives within 25 miles of his family. <laughs> Isn't that what America would do? They would just completely Until he surrender. You starve them all. You starve them. You kill them. You bob anybody within 25 miles of those terrorists. Right. Kill his neighbor's kids. I'm kidding. Oh. Uh, America's actually surprisingly cool with that scenario. Let's <laughs> let's let's see what Jackson says. That's a good question. I would pose the question to the Israeli military. Why did their own Apache attack helicopters and Israeli tanks kill Israeli civilians on October 7th? I think that's a horrific war crime. I heard about that one. Didn't you just make, if you made that up? Uh, if it would have happened, uh, it would have no. been an accident. The, the they IDF is now admitting they did that. Am I wrong about that, well, Jackson? What I like about this portly gentleman with the amazing uh, hair, like the corrupt cop from the Dark Knight that steals falafel in the beginning. <laughs> 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 he goes, he, he's. Doesn't know what you're talking about. He's very confident the information does not exist anywhere. Yes. You must be making it up because you're a hussy and you stay away from his to tortoise. <laughs> you stay away from his tortoise, you slut. The Israeli, the Israeli media, Haaretz, admitted that in their report on the events of It's October very possible 7th. that they've killed their own city. They wouldn't be doing it on purpose, though. That, no, that is very not. possible when there's thousands of terrorists over your border. I want to I find out your thoughts about Hamas. Do you agree that they are a terrorist bunch of scumbags or not? Jeez. You agree that the Israeli military no, no, are a bunch the of question. terrorist answer, scumbags? No, I'll answer your question. I'll answer, I'll your, answer question. your question when you answer my question. I'll is the Israeli the military first. a bunch of terrorists? Do they cut babies out of wounds matter. and gang rape women for and cut babies' heads matter. off? No, they don't, for do that they? Matter. If you're going to call out the Hamas fighters for being terrorists, you may as well call out your own government for their war crimes under the government of Tony Blair for what they did in Iraq. Well, you condemn Do you know how many terrorist war criminals? We have done that in the past. We're not going back. We could go back to the Second World War. And we could actually uh, talk about the amount of innocent people killed during the Second World War. Millions. 
You seem very pro-Russian as well when I read about you. Why are you oh. so pro-Russian when they've invaded a sovereign nation like Ukraine? You went for Russia today, didn't you? So just just to show you what happened there, Jackson got him on that. So what are you going to call is the Israeli army? Are you going to call them war criminals? Are you going to call them because they're and he's like, he, he knows that you have him on that. Are you going to call them terrorists? Because if you want me to call Hamas terrorists, you have to call them terrorists. And he knows you have them. And his only thing is, well, we could go all the way back to the World War II. We're not going to do that. Okay. Okay. Me? No. Well, I don't work for Russia good. today, so I don't know what you're talking about. You have misinformation. But when it comes to the Russian military, they're liberating Ukrainians from the Nazi rule. And you say that Ukraine is a sovereign government. Their government hasn't been sovereign since it was cooed in a U.S.-backed coup in 2014. Well, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you okay? I'm really worried about your take on the news. I'm just worried how you so, got to this idea that I'm you want to be about your alien. Take I'm that. worried about your take on Are you okay? So Why don't you did? come over later? We'll just we'll talk about it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop him. Stop him. Hey, I'm calm down. <laughs> Pay no mind to this beastly hair. Everybody else says, you won't answer any questions. I asked you an easy question. I said, you know, are Hamas a terrorist organization? And you said, well, I'll answer that after you. Well, you actually said you an American that? accent. Can you answer that question or are you just going to flannel around? Going to well, I asked a very simple question. So you're just going to flatten around. Not to answer it either. Sorry, is the Israeli it. military is the Israeli military a terrorist organization? Well, of course, they're not. They're a military. They follow the law, yeah. military law. Whereas Hamas, when they cut people's heads off and gang rape women and kill them, and, and film it and, and put it out it. online, have you not seen a difference? Uh, well, I've and seen no they, videos of Hamas. Well, you want to get online? There's plenty of them. You got to let me answer a question here. You got to let me answer. Can you? Well, you start with a load of BS, don't you? Listen, let's just start with the question I asked. Are you prepared to admit that Hamas are terrorists? <laughs> no, I'm not prepared to admit that at all. Just like you're not prepared to admit that Israel is a terrorist organization. Yeah, you're wrong. And you well, asked the, qu you asked the, the question. question. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You asked the question, how did I arrive at the conclusions I've drawn? Well, I'm not funded by Big Pharma. I'm not funded by the weapons manufacturers like the mainstream media are. So that's why an average citizen can look at what's happening and actually call balls and strikes about this genocide on the people of Gaza. Well, but the population's see, gone up threefold in the last mm. 15 years. Not Bam! I would do them one better on the Hamas thing. I'd say, not only do I think that, I think Bibi Netanyahu shouldn't have funded them for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> Their heads would melt. Good genocide, is it? You see, you, you, you are just talking. I, I can say whatever I want here. I can talk, and I've in, looked into it. I've spoken to people. We talked about this. And if it wasn't for the scumbags of Hamas continually <laughs> rocketing Israel, uh, continually carrying out terrorist attacks on innocent people, then going into a, uh, a, a village and killing every single person there, not to mention their pets. Well, yeah, you know, well, yeah. um, if, if you won't call these sort of people terrorists, I mean, what, what's going through your mind? You support their action then? <laughs> What's going through your mind? Your show's called Unleashed, but you're leashed like a dog to the Zionists and repeating all their propaganda as oh. they slaughter 60,000 you know, you innocent civilians in Gaza. To use an English word. You're spineless. I, I, I don't know how you sleep I, I, at night condoning I, this genocide. It's well, actually disgusting. Well, actually. If they wanted to commit genocide, they could have done it, couldn't they, Israel? They have the weaponry. It's only 25 or whatever. They could do it. They don't even need new conventional weapons. They could have done it, but they don't, do they? Well, if you considered what happened on October 7th, the genocide, which attempted said, genocide, it, it wasn't a genocide. Obviously, okay. they would have done it if they could, but it was uh, that they tried it. You got to let me that, finish talking well, you on, on your show. On your show six days ago, you called what Hamas did a, an attempted genocide that's on the right. people of Israel. If that's an attempted genocide, then I what believe Israel's we used the word I, I, I did it. Well, thousand people is 100 well, percent. They, they would have killed everyone in Israel if they could have, wouldn't they? They were killing everyone. The only problem with that is they were taking hostages. Yeah. Israel well, they killed, killed them, far more hostage, civilians yeah. of their own. They killed far more Israeli civilians than Hamas killed on October 7th. Do you know, you're talking course. rubbish because you're not backing it up. Yeah. Okay, and you're slipping out of it. Now, last <laughs> was it last week on, on Twitter that you asked people to help defeat the Zionist lies? Yeah, unlike the mainstream media puppets like you all, I don't have to rely you on You can insult me you know, as much as you like. I've had it like 50 years and really to fund my work. <laughs> I actually have average <laughs> citizens that support my work, but you regurgitate lies about 40 beheaded babies. You regurgitate lies about so that never know, happened. a terrorist list in the bottom so of the hospital. Happened. What did Hamas do on October the 7th when they broke? single Israeli Zionist What did they do when they broke through the border on October the 7th? Did they go and have a game of golf then? What did they do on October the 7th when they broke through the border? Well, they sought to capture hostages so they could free thousands of political prisoners that are held in Israeli prisons. Did they kill anyone? Which we're now actually seeing take place and they're freed. These Palestinians Did are Did they not kill anyone? Hang on, hang, hang on. You have said, right? You've said that on October the 7th, only 900 people were killed. Is By Hamas, you said most of them were soldiers. Is that all right then? That they went in and they, they killed 900 people? I didn't say that Hamas killed 900 civilians. I said that I no, made I said a point soldiers. actually. I just said well, you got to let me finish. You got to let me finish. Israel initially said that 2000 civilians died 
Then they said it was 1400. Then they said it was 1200. Then they posted the names of those civilians on their own Twitter account, half of whom were military personnel. Now we're learning from Israeli media Haaretz that actually Israeli helicopters and tanks killed a lot of those civilians. So I don't think we'll ever really know how many civilians were killed so if we don't on that day really by know, until we get an actual investigation. If we don't really know, in the same way they claim 500 people have been killed in a hospital by uh, an Israeli bomb, which was proved beyond doubt not to have happened, you know, in the fog of war, unfortunately, all this sort of gets done. But the amount of film footage that I have seen, which has been, has scarred me for life, I'll tell oh, you. from Hamas. Has, has actually made me, a, I mean, if it had happened yeah. to a, a town I mean, you're saying Hamas don't kill innocent civilians, because that's blatantly not true. They've been blowing themselves up and killing, of course they kill Israelis. They consider them all the... Uh, but they don't the care about life, so. a lot of these people, do they? Think they're going to go to some place called heaven and No, here, here's the truth, here's the truth. Oh, You really? guys don't care about truth. life. You're, you're moaning and groaning about... These, you know, alleged atrocities that you said Hamas, you know, uh, moaning, I'm moaning, I'm moaning, moaning, you know, a lot of even wait, you, you gotta let me finish. Even though we know of half of these half of these individuals killed on October 7th were military personnel. Oh, that's all right. Then. The other half wasn't. Israel posted it on their official account on Twitter. Well, no, but why now, does that we make do it know that 16,000 civilians have been killed by Israel in Gaza. So do you care about... I don't know that. That's how massive figures. It's probably a load of BS. Children? Probably a load of BS. Do you know, I don't want to see anybody killed. I don't want to see anybody on any side. I think war is a completely useless thing. But what I do think uh. is that people like you cause an enormous amount of problems around the world. Spreading the malicious stories that you do, working people up the way you do, and you can wipe that smug look off your face. Ah, you know, sit there. I have no smug look. You have a smug look on your way. Pushing Zionist lies and justifying Goodbye. his genocide. Goodbye. I've had Gaza. enough. Go. <laughs> Mindless. I don't know how you sleep at night. It's oh disgusting. Goodness. And honestly, People I do like not want somebody like you here on Talk TV and Radio spouting out the absolute false rubbish false. that is coming out of your mouth. And it's coming out of your mouth to get clicks on social media so that you can make as much money yeah, as you Women were gang raped, like. children were murdered, coming out of your mouth is coming out of your nice, mouth so you nice get look. big war companies to continue to fund the mainstream yeah. 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 propaganda on. You absolutely talk rubbish. I don't know how you I don't think you believe it yourself, do you? Of course I do. I don't think you believe the lies that you put forward to yeah. get to these big sponsors for your shows on the mainstream we media. We don't need lies about this genocide. We don't need I don't think sponsor. you believe what you say. I, you're talking rubbish. You really are. The you sort say of you care about the loss of innocent civilian life. Of your mouth you don't care about the loss of innocent the civilian worst. life. Innocent civilians, civilians always get killed heard. in war, don't they? That's, when has there been a war where innocent civilians don't die? Here's a question. Why are you so okay with collateral damage when it comes to Gaza, but you are so you're so frightened by collateral damage and offended by it when it comes to Israel. No, I'm not offended. I mean, to be honest, if Hamas had just attacked military, that would be fair game. I tell you what, listen, you're bro you're okay, so you if you're not you're offended by it, if you're not yeah. offended by it, by do you think attack. that Hamas should be, do you think Hamas should be wiped off the face yes. of the earth? I think Hamas should, should be, it's on the way. Do you think the Israeli military should be wiped off the face of the earth? No, hang on. I don't think anybody should be wiped off the face of the They should be locked up. No, they should be wiped off the earth. You got them fighting again amongst each other. You're talking a load of shite. Now get over here and smear it into my chest. <laughs> get off my show and get into my laurier. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have him take a full. So he he already said he's going to say goodbye to you, but then they can't. He can't say goodbye to you. Yeah. He's he's more like a you hang up first. Yeah, they're waiting for no, him. No, you disconnect. hang up. No, you hang up first. Okay, watch this. Really, you military they, should be wiped off the face of the earth. I got to break. Listen, one of our listeners wants to talk to you. you want to talk to a listener or viewer? Sure. David, what do you want to say to Jackson in Glasgow? Look, Jack Jackson, I, I don't know exactly where you're coming from here, right? I mean, what happened on the, the 7th of October? You know, th this is a question that you need to ask yourself. Uh. Seasoned journalists, you know, you look at journalists from the US and the UK, people who have been in war situations, I could name all these journalists. The Israel Defence Force took these journalists into a closed room, showed them every single video that happened on the 7th of October. You, Videos that have not been seen in... Do you not hear the problem, sir, he, he as you're saying it? You don't hear it. They took him into a closed room so that nobody could see it. And good news for uh, Europe. You've gone full China <laughs> with your information blocking. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Okay. They probably took him into a closed room and showed all the blackmail they have on each person in that room. And they're like, you're going to go out of here and tell everyone that you saw horrific footage <laughs> that will shape the you know future of humanity if we don't crush them off, show them the lost Epstein tapes is what I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Like, and every single one of these journalists said that they could not stomach what they'd seen. What they'd seen was her more horrific than what they've ever seen in their life. Now, I don't know exactly what your position is, but when you listen to these journalists, 
watching and seeing evidence of being filmed, uh, items being filmed by Hamas, and these journalists reporting the horrific nature of this, then the question should be asked is, is, is Israel being held to ransom by Hamas? Well, I think that you need to take a closer look at why these journalists are saying what they're saying. They lied about WMD in Iraq. They lied about Syria. They lied about Afghanistan. They lied about Libya. They lied about Ukraine. And now they're lying about what's happening to the people of Gaza. There's no evidence. They haven't released the evidence to the public. If there was evidence for what they're saying, all these horrific videos, they would show it to the They have released the evidence. That's what he was just saying, you buffoon. No, he's saying they took people into a closed room. What If they really had the video, why would they keep it secret? Why would they only show it to a handful of journalists? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It's just too much for you to see, Jimmy. <laughs> it's just too you, much. You know, qualified journal, and I could name seasoned. them. Seasoned. I'm. I could name them. I'm not gonna, but I could name them. <laughs> I love seasoned. Seasoned. I, how come this guy wasn't like name one journalist? Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, that's Mr. what I was waiting for too. Mister Namey the Turtle here didn't suddenly. It's not an issue. <laughs> Okay, here. Saying that they have not released it, he said that they've only showed it in closed rooms. You didn't yeah. listen to him. Yeah, no, but that's releasing it, Hang isn't on. it? That's Jay, releasing Jay, it. Jay, you <laughs> stop it. And you stop it. You, quite frankly, over there in the USA, spouting this ridiculous rubbish, you should be ashamed of yourself, mate. Good night. Dude, you keep talking. <laughs> Jackson, you talked about stuff pouring out of your mouth like five times. Yes. It's all coming, spewing from your mouth, Jackson. From your mouth. Uh. I have never seen, not since Piers Morgan, have I seen two uh, boned up chubby Brits like this. It's the same network. Yeah. What, oh, is, that, is that the same network that Piers Morgan's on? Talk, talk TV. Same network. So Piers Morgan. Picked by Piers. So Piers Morgan brought you on, and then you ruffled his jimmies. <laughs> You're rustling my jimmies. <laughs> and then and then he blocked but you. He on... blocked me on Twitter. He won't have me back. He told me he was going to have me back on, and now he won't have he me back on. He can't be tempted. It's he, like he has to quit you. <laughs> he just has to quit you cold. Sorry, Jackson. He can't have another bro- broke back Israel Palestine conversation. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was uh, so so. Uh, and any have you have those they they invited you back on after that or is that it you think no they haven't invited me back on but i am going on uh gb news i think it's great britain news with uh i'm speaking with a member of the uk parliament who has a show there this week about gaza so that should be interesting as well oh i look forward to that I, the whole, all of them are like, you've got to talk to this guy. I feel like I watched a gay porn, honest to God. <laughs> you you've got to talk to this guy. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> they also have like big powdered wigs and a little pimple. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. <laughs> that hair's faker than Ryan Grimm's. Why do you? Yeah, I'm looking at the guy's hair. He's got a wig, doesn't he? A hundred percent. That's not real. <laughs> That's a coonskin cap like David Crockett had. That's not Look real. Look at that. Oh, my God. He's wearing a rock and roll wig. Again, what again. is it with these people in wigs? It's like the wig is on backwards or something. It's, it doesn't yes, even look real. It looks like one of Kyle Dunnigan's wigs we use to shoot things. It looks like the kind of wig that you, you would use if you were going to do a... Uh, <clears throat> He he looks like Aunt B or something. He yes. doesn't that doesn't look like even a man's hair, right? Right. It looks like what a, well it's Britain, you know, you could do that. What what was the what was the one where the guy had his mom in the the movie Psycho? Psycho. He looks like the <laughs> <laughs> Mother he, Mother Does like, this come in mother? <laughs> 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 That's what it looks like. Oh. I really think I'm uh starting to get dementia because i can't remember names for shit the last five days name the names i can't <laughs> i really can't think of the names names of movies names of people anyway these, these guys went to eaton if you know it, i'm really all of their schools are the same <laughs> <laughs> we're doing live comedy shows in oxnard california venice california palmdale california omaha nebraska des moines milwaukee lansing michigan bend oregon portland oregon seattle washington and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.